Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, today I thought I was doing a reaction to um, Angelina and what she's up to lately. And I saw this uh, this video and I thought I would uh, take a look because it uh, seems like she's um, uh, she has she's singing you know in a private setting to um, what looks to be a cast of artists. Um, and I think I see J.J. Abrams as well. So uh, you have like a cast for uh, for a movie there with Margot uh, Robbie and uh, Rami Malek. And uh, I, like, um, I like them both actually, the actors. And uh, actually Rami Malek would be great, you know, in the, in the vision that I would have, you know, of the the movie based on my novel. Now I, I've mentioned this before, you know, because um, that was primarily how I envisioned my novel to be. Um, and I wrote my novel, you know, just to make sure that people understand is out of concern for all beings and for the human race, and to to see to maybe try and help it. Um, and I thought that a movie would be the uh, the best or the most effective way of um, of sharing the message um, and the message is quite uh, a relatively simple one though it may not be seen as being simple um, so anyway um, so I wonder yeah I wonder if and I, it's funny because I was just talking or just referring to the aspect of maybe how do I get a, a, a novel my novel to Angelina's family like her mom who I think is the one that is actually guiding this this force, which is Angelina, um, because uh, I think the mom is in charge of Angelina Jordan Inc. Incorporated. And so um, yeah, because I don't think Angelina is connecting herself with all these people. I think through other means uh, she's getting these connections, and then uh, people obviously want to uh, are attracted by her talent you know so uh so it's quite interesting uh, quite an interesting phenomenon she's become because uh, because she's hitting in all the different disciplines and like i said maybe her mom or her grandmother have a lot to do with that and also the uh, you know obviously the talent agent the talent agencies the the record company um and the people involved there as well obviously they're doing a lot of this too right and um yeah, so she started off, you know, um, singing and, you know, getting connections within that field. And then uh, also the sports field as well. And the uh, uh, now uh, also the fashion industry with Heidi Klum and now, <laughs> now Hollywood. Although she did have a connection with Hollywood when she was younger because she was friends with one of the Sopranos uh, actors, or at least she uh, her mom somehow, you know, uh, she sang for that actor. I can't remember his name. Um, I remember that when she was small, you know. So and then she ended up being in his show, which he had a series in um, in Europe, in Scandinavian countries, I think. Um, and again, I'm not familiar with that. But um, yeah, so she's, in a way, I guess she's always had some kind of connections in different disciplines. Uh, and I think her mom had a lot to do with that, or maybe her grandmother. Um, so, yeah, so it's quite interesting to see the phenomenon that she's becoming, you know. And, uh, and I think uh, people are, bec are, are gravitating more and more towards this phenomenon. She's like a gravitational force, you know. <laughs> Uh, that people are just uh, being pulled in to, you know, and um, and uh, why not, you know? She's, uh, I think she's still uh, a very humble and um, probably a very nice person, you know? Um, and hopefully that doesn't spoil with all this uh, fame and uh, fortune, you know, that's, that's going on. Um, so, yeah. And let's see. Uh, so let's let's hear the, her uh, her <laughs> uh, interpretation of Bohemian Rhapsody. Let's go.
I mean, really, <laughs> no wonder, you know. I mean, look at that, you know. You, you just look at her, she's impressive, you know, the statuesque uh, and uh, beautiful. And uh, and then you hear that voice and just uh, stunning, right? I mean, uh, there's nothing, uh, uh, it, you know, she's she's the type of person I think that uh, um, for a brief moment um, you lose yourself. You know, uh, you basically don't exist. She's the only thing that exists because you're so enthralled by by everything that she is, and that in itself is a very powerful thing. You know, it's like being on top of a mountain on a clear day. Um, and maybe it's a mountain full of snow and it's clear and there's no one else you know around and and just the beauty of the of nature itself you know uh, just takes you away you know and i think that that's the power of angelina um yeah so <sighs> okay so i'm just gonna back up a little bit because she she did something there that was quite interesting It's this nuanced uh, versions that she has, you know, that just make her just uh, incredible because she's so comfortable with her voice and her range now that she can just that live, I think, um, very much like a jazz singer and take it uh, anywhere in anywhere she wants. And it's just amazing, you know. So, yeah, I'm just going to take a look at what else there is here. I want to make sure that I don't get a copyright strike. Or something. Oh, okay, that, okay. So that was hold on a second. That was uh, Malik, uh, the actor. I think approaching her uh, and hugging her. That's that's cute, you know. Um, yeah, and and they're having a conversation, which is really cool. Now there's a. I noticed that there is music in the background, so I don't want to. I don't want to uh, go on a copyright thing here, a problem. So I'm just going to mute it just to see, because I don't think we can hear what they're saying. So <laughs> I'm just going to mute the, the song in the background and whoever's singing. Um, yeah, so they're getting along, which is cool, you know. Um, and like I said, I think he, in a way, I think he would be, I don't know if I said this or I thought about it anyway, that he would be like a pretty good actor in the movie in my in one of the parts in my book it's a part that i originally had uh, imagined uh, philip uh, seymour hoffman uh, portraying um but uh he passed away uh, quite a while ago so that's, that's sad anyway so it went into a commercial and i sort of backed up i had to go find the video again but this is a, a nice picture with uh, like i said the actors and the cast itself you know with uh, it seems like everybody's there i think that that's uh, uh batiste uh, on the piano so that's pretty cool i think there's other actors there but i, I don't recognize who they are at least um, from this picture so uh, Angelina, good luck on your uh, on your in your concert. Um, I'm sure you're gonna do you're gonna be amazing. Everybody's gonna love you, and chances are all these artists uh, may come and see you. You know, uh, maybe or support you anyway, um, in some way or, or another. You know, um, yeah. Uh, you know what? Who I I would love for Angelina to. Um, like a role model for me would be like uh, Messi. I don't know the other, uh, these actors. I don't know who they are, what they're about. And Messi, there's one thing about Messi that I cannot put into words in the sense of the humble nature of that person. If, she, if Angelina can, just, can remain as humble as Messi, uh, we've got, you know, something ex extremely special, you know. Um, and I can't describe why I think that, so um, maybe I'll, I'll input here 
uh, a little clip of why I think that. Uh, have a have a good day. Take care of yourselves, and um, and I hope uh, things get straightened out because the this world is uh, uh, I don't feel it's headed in the right direction uh, in many ways, and like I'm seeing the cards and how they will be played. And I don't like what I'm seeing, and I'm sure a lot of you probably feel the way, the, the same. But maybe I'm mistaken. So hopefully I'm mistaken. Um, okay, take care of yourselves. Bye.